Neuralink will soon begin human trials, but what can it do exactly? With the continuous advancement of artificial intelligence, it's widely assumed that we will come to a point where human-constructed AI reaches a technological singularity and surpasses both human intelligence and capability. And as wild as that sounds, people like Elon Musk certainly believe it. In fact, this very notion was the driving force for the company's inception according to Musk. He has personally stated that this technology must be developed so that humans can evolve and have a symbiotic relationship with the AI of the future. One where we won't be left behind as inferior creatures. One where human capability will match that of our own creations. However, with all of that being said, it's important to take Elon's statements with a massive grain of salt. In 2022, we have yet to see this existential threat materialize, and because of that, Neuralink's current mission looks a lot different. There is a beautiful revolution happening right now in neuroscience that is a lot less dramatic than putting us on a level with advanced AI, but one that is now becoming possible thanks to the incredible science and engineering of Neuralink. So what are the actual capabilities of this technology, and what can the brain implant actually do? That's what we're going to explore in today's video, so before we get started, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel as we are extremely close to being monetized by YouTube, and your support helps more than you know. But with all of that being said, let's get started. In 2016, Elon Musk, Max Hodak, and Paul Marola co-founded the company and placed its headquarters in the Pioneer Building in San Francisco, where they ironically shared offices with the team behind the company OpenAI. The technology was kept under wraps until in 2017 when the Wall Street Journal first reported on it, and later in 2019 when the company unveiled the Neuralink chip through a live stream. While Elon's reason for starting this company is stated to be to help us keep pace with the quickly evolving artificial intelligence field, it's also being built to help treat and cure neurological disorders such as Parkinson's, paralysis, and even blindness. So I want to emphasize the, the purpose of Neuralink. Like, uh, what do we, what's our goal? The reality is that almost everyone uh, over time will develop brain and spine problems. Uh, these range from uh, minor to very severe, but if you live long enough, you, you, everyone's going to basically have some kind of um, neurological disorder. And these range from, you know, from memory loss to brain damage, but the, the thing that's important to appreciate is that uh, is, is that a, an implantable um, device can actually solve these problems. Um, and I think a lot of people don't, don't quite realize that. Um, but all of, these, the, all of your senses, your sight, hearing, feeling, um, pain, uh, these are all electrical signals sent by neurons to your brain. And if you can uh, correct these signals, you can solve everything from memory loss, hear, memory loss, hearing loss, blindness, paralysis, depression, insomnia, extreme pain, seizures, anxiety, addiction, strokes, brain damage. Can, these can be insult, These can all, can all be solved with an implantable uh, neur, uh, neural link. So what exactly is Neuralink? Neuralink describes itself as an ultra-high bandwidth brain-machine interface that connects humans and computers. Neuralink's N1 sensor is an implantable device that reads what are called spikes or electrical fields generated when neurons fire in the brain. The neurons inside of your brain fire in patterns depending on what the brain is wanting to do. Where Neuralink comes in is that it can decode these patterns and transmit them as instructions elsewhere. The chip is about the size of a coin and will sit embedded in the skull just behind the ear. It is battery operated and will be able to be charged wirelessly, so no you will not have to plug yourself up at night if you have one. Inside its link casing is the chip which allows the mind to send and receive signals from the brain and other devices. It does this by using its 1204 electrodes on its neural threads which are smaller in diameter than a human hair to read certain parts of the brain and then using a Bluetooth connection, shooting the data to a desired device for control. Because installing these microscopic channels to neurons by hand would be impossible, Neuralink has developed a highly sophisticated robot to perform the surgery. This robot itself is just as amazing a piece of engineering as the N1 chip. Neurosurgery is extremely difficult and delicate, and because the brain moves a lot and because any mistake in the brain has drastic consequences, the room for error for a surgery like installing a Neuralink, although minimally invasive, is none. Because of this, the team at Neuralink has constructed their surgical robot which uses computer vision and high reliability software to safely perform the implantation. To understand exactly how Neuralink will help people with disorders or injuries beyond allowing them to control technology, we need to understand what's going on inside of the brain to cause these disorders in the first place. 
Your brain is the control center of your entire body. It does so by communicating via your spinal cord to all of your nerves and muscles. When this communication becomes damaged, you encounter disorders such as paralysis where the brain loses its connectivity and thus the ability to move the paralyzed limb. Where Neuralink can come in is that during most of these injuries, your brain can still produce the signal telling your body what to do. So theoretically, you could have a Neuralink record this signal and shoot it out to a potential secondary link at the damage point of the network and thus restore movement. Seeing this potential, it's easy to extrapolate to the amazing objectives laid out by Elon in the unveiling. These lofty goals are not out of the scope of reality by any means, and Neuralink isn't even the first technology of its kind to address these issues. Neural laces and implantable brain chips have been under research and conception since the 70s, although largely with wires and lots of machines, but none as convenient as what we're seeing now. So what exactly are we seeing now with Neuralink? Let's take a look. And the, this Neuralink is implanted in the region of the brain that uh, where, where the, the snout, <laughs> snout is located, which is actually quite a large part of a brain's brain. And so when, when you touch Gertrude's snout, uh, you, can, you can see the there's a whole bunch more neurons that fire. And, you, and that sound you hear is a, a collection of neuron sp neural spikes. As he's playing this game, we're wirelessly streaming, in real time, the firing rates from thousands of neurons to a computer. Using these data, we calibrate the decoder by mathematically modeling the relationship between patterns of neural activity and the different joystick movements they produce. After only a few minutes of calibration, we can use the output from the decoder to move the cursor instead of the joystick. Pages still moves the joystick out of habit, but as you can see, it's unplugged. He's controlling the cursor entirely with decoded neural activity. As you can see, Pager is amazingly good at mind pong. He's focused, and he's playing entirely of his own volition. It's not magic. The reason Neuralink works is because it's recording and decoding electrical signals from the brain. Let's suspend reality for just a moment and explore what types of future possibilities would theoretically be possible with this type of technology. Given that Neuralink allows us to neurologically interface with machines, it would be possible to use a system like Neuralink to control an exoskeleton, play complex video games with your mind, or even control drones with your mind. One absolutely amazing possibility is the potential reality of something like telepathy. As crazy as that sounds, it's a lot more possible than you might think. In fact, scientists at Duke have already successfully transferred thoughts between rats using neural reading devices. The first rat, which acted as an encoder, was shown how to get a reward by pressing the button on the right. Only the encoder rat knew which button to press because only it saw which button lit up. Its brain patterns were then transferred to the decoder rat, where the thought patterns were stimulated into its brain, and sure enough, the decoder rat pressed the right button and received its reward. So as the decoder gets this information and basically decodes the brain pattern originated in the encoder's brain, it responds to us behaviorally by pressing one or the other uh, lever to tell us that he got it right or not. And what we discover is that in 70% of the times, this decoder actually can get the task right without even seeing the light, just by decoding the brain pattern that the encoder donated to it. This experiment highlights what just might be possible with something like Neuralink, and in my opinion paints an absolutely crazy picture for the future of brain technology. So as you can see, Neuralink is already extremely sophisticated and its future looks extremely promising. Having already had success with implantation and successful removal from both pigs and monkeys, Neuralink looks poised for great success in its upcoming human trials. For now, all we're waiting on is just FDA approval. But that's going to do it for the video today. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments, and I'll catch you in the next one.